What is up, everybody? Welcome to the 10 Minute Clinic. To ride the stride, you must be at least 18 years of age. Remember, we are unfiltered, unscripted. And with that being said, the doctor is in. If you can't tell, I did this ride. <laughs> yeah, it's a ride. <laughs> Anyways, if you can't tell, this kind of sounds like a theme park speaker. It's supposed to, because that's where we are with today. We are at Smile Dispensers, and the greatest theme park. We're together. We love our livers. Yes, we do love our livers. So, like I said, this is the 10 minute clinic. You gotta be 18, because this show is crazy. It gets wild. On today's episode, we're probably gonna be talking about a couple of things that I don't know what they are yet. So stick around to figure it out. Um, plug Instagram, plug Twitter. Uh, and my Tumblr, figure them out yourself because I'm not going to give them to you yet. Stick around and I might. Thank you. So, basically, when I used to work at this theme park, it was just a wild time in my life. There was a lot going on. I was going through a lot of uh, mental problems. <laughs> That's what we're going to call them. Um, but that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about... Um, Specifically, uh, New Year's. Uh, we had a little New Year's get together, a little kickback, because um, I wasn't gonna be home. Uh, my two friends weren't gonna be home. Like, one of them was really mad at his family, and the other one wasn't gonna go back to uh, Shmo, Oklahoma. So that's that. And we, <laughs> we basically spent the entire night drinking boxed wine. <laughs> boxed wine and we had some type of something else but we were drinking boxed wine the entire night um and then uh my friend uh brist brist that's what we're gonna call him brist shows up and he starts drinking some wine um at this point we're all getting a little bit tipsy but um uh my friend um what are we gonna call her i don't know what we're gonna call her we're gonna ca fucking call her like Fucking goose. <laughs> goose. Goose. Hey, goose. Hey. I just want to talk. I just want to have a little bit of a word. I want to. Hey, goose. Goose. I want to have a little word with you. I just want to let you know that you were so fucking drunk. <laughs> you were crying. I mean, you know. You are aware of what you were doing. But you were really fucking drunk. And it was honestly one of my favorite memories. You were crying about how much like how grateful you were to be our friends and how happy you were that we were in your life and all this kind of stuff and it just felt so great because I feel the exact same way about you goose goose you hear me I fucking love you goose I fucking love you <laughs> um yeah but that same night um brist he might have thrown up purple raviolis all over my fucking bed after he went and threw up in the bathroom multiple times more than once more than twice on the last time he said i need to go home <coughs> no! as he was vomiting it was an adventure a true adventure and I was like, you don't need to go home, your mother would kill you. And he was like, true, I need to go to fucking bed. So then I put him in my bed. And then he, well, I was trying to put him in my bed. And then he fell, broke a mirror, broke some Christmas ornaments, didn't want to get back up. So I had to pick him up, and I put him in my bed. And then I come back to check on him after Goose. Whoa. After <laughs> Something was just tugging on my sleeve. That was weird. Anyways, this was right after Goose had just been crying to me. And let's call him... Um... Let's call him... Let's call him Baloney. Goose and Baloney had been crying to each other. Well, Baloney was listening to Goose. And Baloney has been going through some stuff too. We all go through stuff. That's why we were all good friends. Like, we were all going through stuff at the same time. We were really there for each other. And I think that these people are like, we're meant to be family. Ooh, you hear that? ASMR. Anyways, these people are like my meant to be family, like my people, you know? I click with them so hard. Anyways, after Goose had been crying, uh, I go back to check on Brist. 
and it turns out that there is purple mush all over my bed and then I look closer at it it's fucking ravioli all over my fucking bed ravi fucking oli bitch and it was purple it was purple ravioli all over my bed so I had to pull this man off my bed so I could change the sheets and then I had to pull his ravioli covered clothes off of him but I couldn't do it because I would have thrown up so I had to go get baloney to pull this man's clothes off of him and put him back in the bed I go to fucking Hurricane Katrina town and that bitch because at this point there's just fucking vomit everywhere <laughs> like purple ravioli is all over my bedroom at this point because I was kind of drunk so whenever I was changing the covers I had literally just been slinging shit so it looked like Hurricane Katrina had hit my bedroom oh my god I literally slung ravioli all over my bedroom that had been in that boy's tummy marinating in Merlot that's what kind of wine we were drinking. We were drinking Merlot, Cabernet, and some type of white wine. I don't remember what kind it was. It was real good, though. Um, but, yeah, I go back to check on Goose, and now at this point, she is <laughs> in the rolly chair trying to roll over to a trash can so she can vomit. And at this point, she's literally just vomiting up liquid. Like, nothing is coming out of her except for the, all of the drinks that she had just drank. And through the vomit, she's crying, talking about how much she loves me and how I'm such a good friend. Like, this isn't me bragging, but, like, this is just me honestly telling the story. And Goose could tell you the same story. Because, and I've done the same shit to her. I've been rolling off my fucking ass, crying about how much I love her and how much she means to me. Because she's honestly just such a good person. She has a good heart. And I think she's very and like all of her intentions are good and I think she's very like like while she is kind of stubborn and adamant in her ways I think she has good intentions behind it and I think that's amazing and that's why she's such a good person so this episode of the 10 minute clinic has been dedicated to Goose this episode of the 10 minute clinic has also been dedicated to Brist because man he was a trooper that's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> he was a trooper. And then, Baloney. Man, you're my dude. I can love you, bro. It's Wednesday, my dude. It's actually not Wednesday. It is currently uh, Monday, July 22nd, 1228 AM. And it has been 8 minutes and 37 seconds at this point. And I've kind of basically told the story of what I want to talk about today so now I'm just going to spend the last couple minutes talking about how much I really love decorating in The Sims like it honestly makes me feel like I'm doing something even though I'm literally doing nothing it makes me feel like I'm actually putting work into something and I like the outcome I like the process that goes into it. I like the the creative liberties that you can take into it and how realistic you can actually make it whenever you put certain things to it. <sighs> I'm sorry that was one really long run on sentence but it has been nine minutes at this point and I think I'm going to start closing it out and if you have any suggestions about what I should be talking about in the coming episodes just let me know if you have anyone that you think I should get in contact with. Maybe bring them on. Call them for an episode or something. That could be a cool suggestion to do. Um, and be sure to stick around for uh, mine and someone special. Uh, mine and Goose's, actually. Me and Goose are coming out with our own podcast called Fine Whining. Um, we'll stick around for the launch. We're still in pre-planning, but we are in the works. We have a logo being made. We have a theme song being made. We are in the process of ordering equipment, getting medias down. So stick around for that. And um, the doctor will be back tomorrow. Thank you for coming to the 10-Minute Clinic. <laughs>